Hi, welcome to Butcher Barbecue. Today we're going to go over applying your favorite rubs and seasonings to the cuts of meat that you want to cook. The first thing I do when I'm going to apply any seasonings or rubs to a piece of meat is I don't actually use a binder per se, but what I use is a hydrator. And what I mean by that is what you have to do is remember that the spices we're putting on are all dehydrated. They have to rehydrate before it soaks into the meat. So the first thing I do is I apply just a little bit of water like this and I just will get it all over the meat, anywhere that I'm gonna apply the rub. I will take my favorite rub that we're using, today's honey rub, and I will generally, I'm sorry, I will liberally place it on the meat like this. And that water, what it does, it allows it to very quickly soak right in. And you can see in the middle, it's already doing that. It doesn't matter which rub it is, if it's the honey rub, uh, grilling addiction, whatever, this is our sweet chipotle rub. We will liberally apply it and you will see it start to soak in. As we lift this up, very little has fallen off. We're gonna flip it over and reapply it on this side. The water is already on this. I did it before we got started. And you can see how it does. This stays right there. And this takes away the need or the use of the, name, the namesake of the product, a rub. You don't need to sit and rub it in. And the problem I don't like with doing that is you see what you get, inconsistency of rub coverage which is a lot of flavor that's that's not gonna be in the right spots. So that's why we do it this way, and all we do is we'll sprinkle it, even and full strokes all the way across. Thank you for joining Butcher Barbecue, application of rubs and seasonings.